In this episode of Flea Mecca Rescue, come shopping with my sister and I as we hunt for some great finds at both the garage sales and the thrift store. And we were even able to find something for my mom. So if you're ready to go shopping with us, then let's head out. One quick note before we get started though, I just want to welcome you if you're new to Flea Market Rescue. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. I love taking you along as we go thrifting, garage sailing, and flea marketing. So if you're interested in learning how to do some of this, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Don't forget, tonight is online shopping. It starts at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my website. If you stick around to the end of the video, you'll get a full preview of all the things that will be available tonight. We're hanging out today, aren't we, Kim? Yes, we are. Yes. Now, I don't always get to see my sister because she's busy, I'm busy, but today we decided we were going to go garage sailing together. And what's so funny is it was her idea. And if you've ever watched any of our shopping videos, then you know that my sister only gets clothes. Now, don't get me wrong. She will buy a piece of home decor on occasion. My sister got her one piece of home decor. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. <laughs> we you. actually looked at that. I thought that was really cute. Yeah, isn't that, doesn't that make you smile? Yes, it yes. does. That's why I'm getting. <laughs> but mostly, it's clothes. Let's see what else. You got some clothes here. Yeah. You know, my sister with her clothes. We always love to joke around with her. Like, there's no room for your clothes in here. My mom has two shopping carts here. And I still have to unload mine. Thanks, Kim. Kim got her clothes. Oh. She could probably sit with it in the front seat. Yeah, Mom's like, oh, you're going to have to move your clothes. <laughs> I got a little bag in there. Oh, my gosh. She we'll said, do we don't think we have room for my clothes. <laughs> my poor sister. She always gets, like, just a little bag. And then we always make a joke like, hey, I don't think that we're going to be able to fit your clothes in there. But today's a different day. It's just her and I spending the day together, hitting a few garage sales and a thrift store. And I'm sure we'll have enough room for anything that we get. Now, the first garage sale that we went to, it was a complete bust because all they were selling were like traditional kind of robes. And that's just something we're not into. The next garage sale wasn't much better. Anyone into a big cloth hamburger? Yikes, get me out of here. I mean, she did have some kind of plants, and that was kind of cool. And now that I'm looking, I, I kind of like these planters. Maybe I should have asked how much they were, but I didn't, and it was off to the next garage sale. Now, this was the kind of garage sale we were looking for. Her stuff was so cute. Now, some things were priced a little higher than others, but you just had to look through her stuff. Again, it was a lot of great stuff. I like what she had in the garage. That's a cute birdhouse, but it's $7. Oh, I'm loving these people. This would be great for like bathroom doors. That's a nice tray. Yeah, this lady has some good taste. Oh, I really like this birdcage. I actually just sold a really large one like this. That's a cute pillow too. Not all that wander are lost. Oh, I'm gonna have to get this mason jar for $2. I'm thinking I'm gonna need this frame too for 75 cents. Oh, and what do we have here? Six dollars? Heck yeah, I'm getting it. I think we really need to get these for mom, Kelly. <laughs> Lemons and limes. Don't you think she has enough? <laughs> Never enough. Never enough, right? Oh, mm -hmm. So yeah, my sister ended up getting that for her. You know how my mom loves that fake fruit, especially lemons. Remember when she hit the mother load of lemons at this garage sale? Oh yeah, she had lemons everything, even a lemon wreath. I bought a ton of these wooden utensils. They're great to put in canisters or pitchers. And for 50 cents, like how could I not? I'm gonna even grab this one over here for a dollar. Okay, I'm just gonna check around, make sure there's nothing I missed. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna have to get this. I really like this. This is a really nice tray. I like this birdhouse, but $7, that's just too much. This lady really has some cute stuff. All right, this has been the best garage sale so far. Are you seeing anything, my sister? No, just these two things. Oh, for mom. mom. Yeah. She's so sweet, isn't she? All right, I guess it's time to move on. This next one, oh my gosh, she had everything that I loved. This thin dresser was cool. Oh, mom would be, mom would be in heaven here. She loves this kind of stuff. She's all about that. Yeah. She loves these. Oh my gosh, I have to have this table. Just look at it. And this lantern. I need this lantern too. Oh, but it's broke. Hmm. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh my gosh, I love this too. This lady and I have the same taste. Now this is kind of cool, I'm loving this. I like this too, but this is more like promotional kind of stuff and it's $10. Oh, we're gonna have to get this for $3. Just look at this. G stands for great finds. I'm definitely getting this arrow. I like this and it's only $2, but what does that stand for? Now I wasn't sure, so I passed on that, but I did ask her if she would bundle everything if I bought a few different things and she said yes. This table here, I got for $15. I put it in my store, I put a couple things on top. Seven minutes later, a lady walked in the door and bought it. Now, it was about lunchtime, so we decided to get something to eat. We were in Rochester, and we went to Paul's on the Main. Can I tell you, this Greek salad was amazing. I was craving it for three days. My sister ended up getting the club, and let me tell you, that is not lunch meat. It is real turkey on there. I can't wait to go to Paul's on the Main again. It was that good. Once we left there, we drove around looking for garage sales, but there just really was not a lot of garage sales this day. So we decided since we're in Rochester, why not go to the Salvation Army? I mean, it's right around the corner. So that's what we did. My sister and I, we're hanging out today, aren't we, Kim? Yes, we are. Yes, and we're gonna hit the Salvation Army because we really didn't find a lot of garage sales today, did we? No, we didn't. All right, let's see what we find in here. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna have to get this. I mean, I don't even know how much it is, but I want it. Okay, it's $12.95, which is a little more on the high side, but I think I can get double this. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it in the basket. Now this is a cute fall sign. Now you always gotta keep in mind that fall's right around the corner. It's gonna be here before we know it. Yep, that one's going in the basket too. Ooh, now this is sharp. This is very classy. Now this is $14.95, but if you add a topiary or some kind of plant greenery, you definitely could get anywhere like, you know, $45, $49. So I'm really liking this. I'm thinking we need to get this. Oh yeah, it's a no-brainer. Can't you see an arborvitae in there? What other goodies do they got today? Oh, Oh, this bakery sign. Yes, yes, yes. How cool is that? $3.99, oh my gosh. Yeah. 
I might have to get this. We've talked about enjoying the little things, haven't we? I don't know if you guys go on TikTok, but there's this whole trend with the Stevie Nicks song, Landslide, where the mothers are, you know, looking back at how the kids are all grown up now. It's just so sad. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I really miss my kids being small. Heck, I just miss them being around. My oldest one just graduated from college. He's a nurse now. I got to show you this cake I had made for his graduation. Isn't that just too cool? I love it. I just want to give a little shout out to Le Petit Pastry Shop. They did such a great job. Thank you, guys. And the youngest one, who really helped me a lot getting the store together, he's on his third year of college to be a mechanical engineer. So they are just growing up so fast, too fast for me. So as I said before, enjoy the little things because you will find out that those were really the big things. I love getting inspirational type signs because you know what? They just make you feel strong when you read them like, yes, 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 I can do it. Yeah, I think we're going to need to put this in the basket. Now, I do buy a lot of signs, but that's just because I sell a lot of signs. I know that some of you have said, oh, you know what? Signs just don't sell for me where I'm at. But for me, it just hasn't been the case. Now, would I get this bless your nest? Maybe not, but the other ones, yes. It's still cute, though. love this number two. Oh my gosh look at the wood on this it's awesome wait a minute wait a minute what is this underneath there oh heck yeah a pig cutting board we're getting this without a doubt oh my gosh i'm like a bull in a china shop these are pretty darn cool though, but I'm not seeing a price on these at all. That's right, I gotta pick up this curtain rod that I knocked down. What in the heck? Oh, I think this is the Blues Brothers. Now, speaking of the Blues Brothers, some of you let me know that when Debbie says, got a half tank gas and a full pack of cigarettes. Just get it. That's a Blues Brothers reference. I did not know that because I was like, none of us even smoke, so. But I get it now, you guys. But one thing we're not gonna get is this Blues Brothers silhouette. Oh, he is cute. Gobble, gobble. But he's $12.99. There's no way I can make any money on him. We're gonna have to say goodbye. I love picking up these and symbols because they sell for one and two this one lights up and it's only $3.99 so how can we not get it oh nice I like this this is all mercury glass and it's an owl it probably would go great during Halloween man we're finding some good stuff today Wait a minute, I need to dig something out here. These are cute, but that's not what I'm going for. And you guys already know I can't bake. Oh my gosh, look at this. I love this, and I think we're going to have to get it. Let's take another look at this star here. No, I'm going to have to pass. I already have a few in the store. Now, I like this white pitcher. You know how I like my white pitchers, but I'm looking at this paper towel holder down here. I don't know. It's a possibility. Oh my gosh, I got to get this guy. The last pig I did sold so fast. Do you guys remember him? He was in a trash to treasure. Yep, we're going to have to get him. Boy, maybe my sister's clothes aren't going to fit this time because we're getting quite the car load here. I love this milk can and you can totally tell it's vintage.
My mom probably would love this. This is cute. It's only $6.99. I, I definitely could make some money on this. Wow. These are like grand. Oh my gosh. And they're a pair. But you know what? I'm not seeing a price on this one. Let's look on the other one. Whoa. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but I think that was the price tag that fell off. And you know what? I had to go up front and find out what the price was. And I was hoping they were going to sell them to me. Because sometimes they won't sell you things if it doesn't have a price tag. And I really wanted these. Like I said, these were grand. And I really just kind of wanted to keep them for myself. So they did end up selling them to me for $8.99 each, I believe. This is kind of cool, but I do have a lot of flower pails already. Can you guys say winter wonderland? Look at this thing. It is $9.99, but I think it's going to make a really good piece in my store. Oh, and spooky. We're going to have to get this one too. And this one's much cheaper at $4.99. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. I love this white pumpkin. I'm going to get it. At $12.99, we're going to leave this one on the shelf. He's cool, but he's weird at the same time, so I'm going to pass on him. But I'm kind of liking this little guy here. Oh, I thought this was just plain. Never mind. Oh, look how pretty this bowl is. You know, I like classic white and black. These serving spoons are great. Like they have the right look and everything. Yep. Two ninety nine on this classic cow creamer. Yeah, we're gonna have to get it. This is so pretty. I could see it during Christmas time. Drape it over a chair. Be all bougie. This is nice too for a classic look, although it's a navy, I would prefer it to be in black. Oh, this is a baby blanket. Never mind, never mind. Look at me still trying to find a use for it. I can make pillows, I can make pot holders. Like I don't have enough projects. Now I always like these faux furs, but they always seem to look really dirty and you can't wash them. I like that. Oh, this little guy is just too stinking cute. We gotta get him. All right, four ninety nine. Let's put him in the basket. Two weeks ago, I saw these here, but today they are half off, so we're gonna get them. Oh my gosh, you guys! I lost my mind in the store. I found so much great stuff, and I found one more thing that I didn't show you. Yes, look at this. This also has been here for over two weeks, and they originally had it at $79.99, but they went down to $39.99. I had to get it. All I'm going to say is my sister's definitely going to have to ride with the clothes on her lap. Will you guys just look at this car? Oh my gosh. And my sister ended up getting these three big pillows too. Do you think we could fit any more in this? Heck yeah. We're heading to another garage sale. So buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think this is? 
wall art? I don't know. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Like something to hang on the wall? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, good to know, good to know. Now I was starting to figure out that this was a little bit of a higher priced garage sale. Like a lot in the antique places and stuff. They're $20 each, Travis. $20. Mm -hmm. like this one right here. Oh, well, yeah, I don't want to break it. Well, it looks like it has a chip on the foot already. Yeah, he does have a little chip oh, right there. Yeah. But at $20, I don't want to have to do anything to this guy. So we decided to leave this garage sale and hit one more thrift store. This is the first thing I came across at the thrift store, and I really thought it was cute. You could put it out for Christmas, and it was only $3.99. We did just get here, so let's just keep going. There's something about little wagons. You just got to pick them up when you see them. This is kind of cool for Halloween. This is a really cool white distress shelf. And there's another one here. We're gonna have to get the set. Oh, I love this. It says family. We're gonna get this too. You know what you could do with this? You could put like two potted plants on there or just one and it would look really awesome. Oh, look how sweet. I always buy houses when I see them and they're perfect for Christmas time. cool candlesticks but they're $5.99 I really don't want to pay that for these and that's each I love this face sign and it's only $2.99 so I think I should get it Two ninety nine. That's not bad, and this is right done. I swear, my mom got me hooked on birds, so now every time I see a bird, I gotta get it. This one's four ninety nine, and I think I'm gonna have to put it in the basket. Well, that's it for our shopping spree. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us. Make sure to stick around because right up next, I'm gonna show you a whole preview of what's gonna be on tonight's online shopping. I have a lot of great things for you this week, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, you guys, I have this fresh milk sign. It's really cool. It's like a chalkboard type um, cutout. Then I have the chef here, which is, he's super cute. We have a lantern here. Um, I'm gonna move this so you can see it. That's a pretty big lantern. Then we have this box here that has like galvanized steel and some pretty flowers. 
we have Ray Dunn bread, a bread um, bowl. Butter by Ray Dunn. We have the cream and sugar here by Ray Dunn. Also, I have milk by Ray Dunn. Then I have these super cute rooster candlesticks. These are vintage and almost feel like they're cast iron. And then I have a whole bunch of these potted plants that are in this wire basket, super cute. I do have this calendar that you can just kind of do the days, whatever the day is. And then I have this watering can, has these pretty purple flowers in it. Behind that, we have a little chair that has a bucket in it. You can put flowers or whatever you want in it. It's super cute. Looks like a birdhouse. All right, you guys, let's see. What else do we have here? So I showed you the little chair. Oh, I have this sign that says, be still and no. I love that. We also have this, it's like um, a little bird cage that has a candle in there. It's all wire. Then underneath here, let's see, we have this. It's a piggy. It's a charcuterie board. Did I say that right? I hope I did. Here it is, right side up. So we have that. And then we have this potted plant. Then I also have this post. It's a mailbox. It's all metal. It's so cool. It has this beautiful bird indention in it. Very nice. Then, come on, you guys. You know you want some of Joanne's fruit. So we have this whole like um, tray that's just filled with all kinds of apples and pears. And you know how my mom loves a lemon. So yes, this could definitely be yours. And then we have the home sweet home tray. I also have a magazine rack, which is really cool. You could put like, you know, a throw over it and some magazines. Then last we have this home sign that says, life takes us to unexpected places. Love brings us home. I think that's really sweet. So there you go, you guys. We have a lot of great stuff today and I hope that you're gonna enjoy it. I almost forgot one, you guys. It is well with my soul. It has this bird, of course this is my mom's, and it's all made out of metal, and it's a really cool sign. All right, you guys, I am also gonna sell this too. It's the Rustic Rooster, and it was a trash to treasure project that I did. Um, that will also be available in my you know, online sale there. All right, you guys, I almost forgot this one here, Home Sweet Home. This is a cute little sign. Well, it's not little. It's actually kind of big, as you, if you can see this big clock. So, yeah, that's for sale, too. So these are the items that will be available tonight on online shopping on my website at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So how online shopping works is at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you want to go on my website. Once you're on there, you're going to hit shop. Then you want to go to the home decor section. Once you're on the home decor section, at 5 o'clock, everything will launch that you saw in the preview, and it'll be available to purchase. Again, you want to make sure that you're in the home decor section because that's where all these items will be. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.